All right, this one, uh, fun little uh, little trick play variation we came up with here. Um, you know, we, we took, uh, put Chris in motion there um, just to kind of try to lull him to sleep a little bit, thinking that the snap's not coming. You know, that's the positive thing about having um, a guy that played quarterback is that we can do a variety of different things with him. You see him throw a bunch of passes on trick plays and uh, he's got experience uh, taking snaps from under center. So it was a fun little wrinkle. We practiced it a bunch uh, and felt good about calling it here in this situation. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I certainly enjoyed it. Um, we practice it every week. We have, we've had it in since before the season started. So, uh, and you see me kind of get stopped when I first, first uh, right after the snap, but playing quarterback, I know if you get stopped in the first gap, you just keep going gap after gap till you finally break through. So, looked like you almost, uh, almost broke out of that thing and yeah. went the distance there. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's see, this one was uh, true naked, right, Chris? Mm -hmm. um, you know, this is, uh, you know, this, this is a, a big part of what we do, just, um, you know, we've had some success doing this because of how well we run the football. Um, we had, uh, you see Keyshawn at the top of the screen did a nice job, uh, and we, we actually, on these nakeds, we haven't thrown a ton of the over routes right there, uh, but Chris does a good job. You can kind of see him stack it vertical there uh, and then snap it across. Uh, does a good job getting a little bit of separation and uh, a big time catch there for him. Uh, yeah, it was Coach Huseman tells us every week not to fall asleep on these on these over routes because we don't get them a ton. But uh, as soon as I saw Cole's eyes snap back to the middle of the field as he's booting out, um, I kind of knew he was going to throw it. Uh, throw it to me and I got pretty excited. So uh, it was a big third down conversion. This one here, uh, just a little cross concept. You can see the down and distance right there. It's second and absolutely forever. Um, so this was, this was actually a huge play here uh, to get back well over half the yards and put us into a third and manageable situation. Um, it was a good route, good route depth right there. Um, again, doing a good job getting separation on the safety right there and um, securing the catch on the sideline. I know you've uh, had a few of those on the sideline. Uh, so good job being aware of where, where he's at on the field. Right, I saw, as soon as I saw how deep the safety was uh, on the snap of the ball, I knew Cole was gonna come, come to my side because um, it's a pretty easy route. It's just a simple six step out and he was pretty deep. So I knew I had some, some cushion to work with. This was, uh, this was the play right after that one, I believe, here. So you can see we're in third and manageable. Uh, this one, this one could have gone either way. It was the RPO version of this, so we could have handed the run off. Uh, Cole pulls it, like the, like the matchup and the leverage out there, so we threw the, threw the hitch out there to Chris. Uh, and it's, you know, you could see there again, it was about, what, third and eight? Third and seven, maybe? So uh, good job by Chris getting his route depth right here, getting us close. And uh, you know, obviously this is third down. The official on the far side actually spotted it really close. So we about went for this, um, but we ended up they ended up putting us a couple yards away. So we didn't feel great about sneaking it. Uh, we decided to take the points after that. Right on this one, I knew it was it was third and third and eight, and uh, so I took my hitch her out at like a yard deeper than normal. Um, I just wish I would have been able to keep my feet for another yard or two. But it was good because we ended up getting points out of this.